Hi, welcome back to Speak Wine to Me. Uh, today I'm going to talk about a wine from a famous region called Piedmont in the northwest of Italy. In fact, this wine comes from the Lang subregion, which is near that clustered area where Nebbiolo is uh, king and queen in terms of Barolo and Barbaresco, probably the two most famous interpretations uh, that you may or may not have heard of. Uh, today, this particular wine is what I would consider an entry-level Nebbiolo, particular because with Barolo and Barbaresco, uh, they tend to be really heavy-duty, seller-for-a-decade type of wines that are um, a little bit less approachable than this particular wine I'm going to talk about today. So if you are looking to experiment and try something new and have been curious about Nebbiolo or never even heard of it, um, I will try this one for you today and you can give one a try on your own and let me know what you think. Um, the other reason this one is uh, a good wine, uh, not just because of its easy early drinking uh, potential, but because it's affordable. So um, like I said, the big guns Brolo and Barbaresco tend to be a little bit of an investment and if you're not not quite ready to do that with Nebbiolo yet, um, this is a good starting point, so the Lang region. Um, so looking at this wine, hopefully you can see the color of it. It's a 2013, so it's been in bottle for a minute. This is 2019, so yeah, about five, six years. So it has that brick red sort of garnet color to it, which is uh, actually quite lovely. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see that, hopefully you can. Uh, on the nose, it's got some pretty classic Nebbiolo uh, aromas. It's got that spice, particularly baking spices like nutmeg, vanilla, there's some some black licorice. There's also some um, red fruit, mostly black fruit though, which is really nice. Um, you've got sort of a brambly type of aroma, if you know what I mean, those bramble bushes that you come across in the woods and you can't help but pick the berries and chew on them. Um, it's got that kind of a nice smell to it. You've also got um, uh, something that makes me think of creme de cassis, as well as some really lovely floral aromas of uh, violet and rose petal potpourri. All that carries over very nicely on the palate. And in fact, um, I'm reminded, again, this is a more approachable style. The tannins aren't as grippy as um, the more powerful Nebbiolo um, styles. This is very nice, nice drinking. I wouldn't say easy drinking. It does have a savoriness to it. So you want to pair it with food, I think, depending on the way you like your wine, your big reds. A lot of times they do um, go quite nicely with a, a hearty meal. Yeah, again, real nice, and because it's been in bottle for a minute, it's got um, a smoother texture to it. So those tannins are there, but they're not overpowering at all. They're actually um, rounding out quite nicely. Uh, Lang is actually close to uh, the same region where you can um, find the white truffles of Alba. So in terms of pairing, I would say that... Uh, this particular wine would be great with uh, pasta dishes, traditional pasta dishes, but something with a thick mushroom sauce, uh, porcini and, and uh, pasta, um, grilled porcini, grilled chicken, uh, those types of things would be wonderful with this wine. I hope you find a Nebbiolo and give it a try. It's, a, again, a great wine and a great one for meals, and it's a, a good one to introduce at your next dinner party. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.